Welcome to BrainStuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, BrainStuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. It might come in fourth on the list of America's top protein choices, but one day out of the year, nothing else will do. Every Thanksgiving day, chicken, beef, and pork all step aside and make room for their poultry compadre, the turkey. For turkeys, however, Thanksgiving isn't such a blessing. It's estimated that in 2017, a whopping 45 million turkeys were consumed for the occasion, some suffering the fate of being stuffed not only with stuffing, but also with a duck and chicken to create that poultry perfusion called the turducken that we discussed a couple episodes ago. There are a couple competing origin stories for the Thanksgiving feast, including a couple meals shared between Native Americans and European colonists stretching back to the 1600s. But it wasn't an official American holiday until President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed November 26, 1863, a national day of giving thanks. Before that, Thanksgivings, days spent in prayer thanking God for some fortuitous event or another, were periodically celebrated by New England colonists, but not anything like the level of the national Thanksgiving festivities we see today. Presidents following Lincoln annually proclaimed the holiday the last Thursday in November until 1942, when Franklin D. Roosevelt switched it to the fourth Thursday in November, not necessarily the last, in an attempt to kick off the holiday shopping season a touch earlier. But turkey didn't immediately join the Thanksgiving scene as the staple centerpiece. And interestingly enough, the turkeys that you see in the grocery store today don't really resemble the birds that pilgrims and Native Americans may or may not have actually feasted on. Turkeys were eaten by both peoples, but had always been bred primarily for their striking dark-colored feathers. That plumage creates tiny pinpricks of pigment in the flesh that turned off many consumers— Because of this, and debates about which size was most appropriate for both private and commercial usage, a breeding campaign was conducted in the United States during the first half of the 20th century in search of a better-selling bird. The modern result is the broad-breasted white turkey. These turkeys are specters of their ancestors. They've been bred to be colorless, larger, and have bigger breasts. Whether you roast it, smoke it, grill it, or deep fry it, turkey has really wedged itself a spot on Thanksgiving Day dinner table. Some 88% of American families eat turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Back in 1929, Americans only ate about 18 million turkeys annually. By 1970, that number was approximately 116 million. In 2017, the number of turkeys raised in the United States was about 245 million, and that wasn't even a peak year. In 1996, U.S. growers produced a record 303 million turkeys. In 